In this lesson, we're going to talk about arrays within PHP, and I do not need to recycle any of the code that I had from the last lesson, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that and just leave the PHP delimiters there to work with. Now, an array is going to be very similar to a variable that we have or we store basically in our RAM, in our computer's RAM, or it creates a container to store things. The difference is that within PHP and within most languages, an array is going to be a collection of many different objects or many different values all stored within one particular array. And so um, it's basically two ways to do it within PHP, and I'm going to show you both ways in this lesson. And I'm going to show you kind of the idea behind an array. If we did not have arrays, then what I would have to do is I'd have to create a variable like state1, and we're just going to go ahead and there's 50 states in the United States, so I could go through and type in all 50 states uh, like this, and then do the second state as well. And this is what we would use if we just were using variables. And then I have to set that one equal to the next one in, in line, Alabama. And then uh, keep going like this. Um, and that's, that's OK. We can do that within our code. But an array kind of allows it all to be within one particular element or one particular object. And each one of these values is considered an element. And so let's go ahead and talk about that. We're going to go ahead and create one. I'll use one way now to create an array. So I'm not going to do it like this. What I'm just going to go ahead and say is states. And then I can go ahead, and after I've done that, I can set it equal to, and I can type in the word array. And then I'm going to use the parentheses here to put these all in. And what I can do is I can enter all these values. For instance, I can enter in Alaska. And then comma, they're all comma separated. After Alaska, I can go ahead and enter in my next one that I want, which would be Alabama. And then after Alabama, let's just go ahead and I'll enter three of them in here. Arkansas. And then whenever you're done, the last element does not get a, um, a comma after it. Basically, it ends the parentheses. And then we're going to go ahead and put the semicolon. And I could make that list grow on and on and on. Each one of these elements, I could keep adding to it. And I don't have to set how many elements are part of my array. Some programming languages will make you do that. This one here does not. I can just continue to keep adding them. And in fact, now if I want to uh, echo out one of those, I can go ahead and say echo, and we can go ahead and echo this array. We're going to echo dollar sign state, states that we have here, and I get to choose which of those elements, and this is called the index. And basically what it is, it starts counting from zero, meaning this for one, one right here, Alaska, is going to be at position or spot zero, and then this one's going to be at one, two, three, four, five, and it's going to keep going on and so forth. And that's how arrays work in almost every programming language that's out there. So what I'll need to do is I'll need to reference that spot. And so what I'll do is I'll put the square brackets, and let's go ahead and put in zero in the square bracket, and then put a semicolon after it. And this is going to echo out my states array spot or index zero and this is going to be Alaska. So let's go ahead and save it, my code here. And let's refresh my page and you'll see Alaska has now been displayed. So I can go ahead and do the same thing here. Echo dollar sign states and let's go ahead and echo out the first one here or actually the second one. It's index one which means it's spot. It's going to be the second spot because we'll start with zero. If I save it and refresh it, you'll see now Alabama has been echoed as well. And so they're going to continue doing it this way. And if I had any additions, I could just go ahead up here to this line 8 here where you see the array that was created, and I can add or subtract different um, elements within this array depending on how my list is supposed to be constructed. So this is one way of creating an array, and it allows it to be so that it's the same variable name, or the same name, it's going to be an array, but other than a variable, but it allows me to use the same name over and over and over again. I just need to tell it what index or what spot it's going to be pulling from on the array. Some people don't like the whole counting with zero, and I see a lot of people put in like quote, quote, comma for the first one, and that'll allow it to be so that the first one is going to be just empty. If I hit save and refresh it, you'll see Alaska was displayed here, and the reason why is because spot zero or index zero is going to be nothing, there's nothing there, it's just quote, quote, and then the next one over here, number one, is going to now be Alaska, and so I'd have to do the array spot 2 to do Alabama and so forth. So that, that allows us to keep the counting with normal counting numbers that we use normally. So that's just a different way of setting it up here. Let's go ahead and delete these and I'll show you the other way here. We've got dollar sign states 
and I'll go ahead and just put the brackets and then I can set my value. So I can go ahead and say Ella Alaska. And then I can do it again. And then we'll set this one to Alabama. And then the last one I'll set to Arkansas. Alright, and so this does the same thing we saw before. This is going to go ahead and set uh, in the index 0 or the spot 0. This is The next time we do it or use the same exact one and we set it something equal to it, we're going to go ahead and set spot 1 and then spot 2 and then keep going on so and so forth. And so if I wanted to do the same thing like I did before, I can put the dollar sign states, I can put these and I can just have it equal to quote quote and that's going to make it so that index 0 is going to be just these two um, quotes, there's nothing in between them and then I can go ahead and echo out these statements and so I'll just show you echo let's see echo let's go ahead and put dollar sign states and I'll just go ahead and echo out spot 1 and that should be Alaska so if I save it refresh Alaska is still there, let's go to spot 2 save it, refresh now you'll see Alabama's there. So the index zero is going to be the quote, quote, one, two, three, and it's going to keep going on and so forth. So this allows us to construct things. If I wanted to, I could specifically say which element it's supposed to be. So dollar sign states, and then I could say spot two. I'm going to overwrite our spot two. And you can see that spot two, this would be our index two would be zero, one, two, it'd be Alabama. Let's just go ahead and put Arizona in there. And you'll see that I'm going to overwrite that here. Um, if I save it and refresh it, it now says Arizona. And so you can always overwrite it by putting in specifically which one. If I took it out, it would now fill it in the next one in line. So let me go ahead and save it and refresh. It goes back to Alabama as being the, the second index. And then it's going to keep going through. And then this now Arizona is going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that'll be index 4. So if I save it and refresh it, you'll see now Arizona is listed there. All right, and this will conclude this lesson on just kind of an overview of what arrays are and how to use them.